talk about how Cornelius was converted, they, how his household was been converted, and what is it that converts the family, Cornelius family. And the scripture says in Acts chapter 11, verse 14. Turn to Acts chapter 11, verse 14. When, who was preaching there? Acts chapter 11. Peter, right? verse 14. And he shall speak words to you by which you will be saved, you and all your household. So, what is the thing that can save? It's the words. It's the words of God. It's the words that is spoken by the apostle. The words. What is the words about? The words is the word of Christ. The word of God. The word of God is the one that is going to judge us on the last day. Remember, he says, he that receive and reject not my words, reject my words, as one that judge him, the word that I have spoken, the same shall judge you on the last day. It is the word of God, the standard that God is going to use to judge all of us. The words. And it is the words that can save us. It's the words, the words of God that can condemn us if we do not follow, if we do not follow. So we need to preach the word. Preach the word in season and out of season. That's right. This is the time of the, who is a Cornelius? Cornelius was a Gentile. The gospel was given to the Jews. Why is it Cornelius is selected? Because Cornelius is the Gentile. So, he cannot understand. So, Peter says, he saw in a vision. You know, when the vision came, and something descended, and then all the animals, four-footed animals, you read in the session, then he saw the vision of God, and he said, all these are unclean. Remember? He said, I cannot. I cannot. He said, rise. Kill and eat. How many times? Three times. God says, kill and eat. That's so many. He did not understand. Then after that, the thing was taken back. And then, remember what the Bible teaches us that actually now the gospel is given to the Gentile. That is what the fulfillment is all about. Romans chapter 1 verse 16 says what? I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God unto salvation to the Jews and also to the Gentile. That's why he's the first Gentile convert. That's how we can bring in that we who are the non-Jews are able to enjoy salvation. Salvation is only in Christ Jesus. Second Timothy says, salvation is only in his name. Only neither by the name of any other name you can be saved. Acts 4, 12. There's only salvation in no other name except the name that has been given. Acts 4, 12. Salvation. And what is this salvation? It's so important. It's so important that it can actually bring us eternal life. Eternal life. Another example is the conversion, as we have always pointed out, is the utopian treasurer or the eunuch. Eh? The eunuch when he was reading from the Old Testament, the book of Isaiah, and he saw that he couldn't understand. Say said, then who joined him? Philip. Say, Philip joined him and said, do you understand what you are reading, Mr. If he is a Mr. Eunuch or Mr. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, he said, how can I unless some man guide me? So, what do we learn? We learn that we must, we must teach the word of God. Yes, everyone must be taught of the word of God. How do I know? Let's turn to John chapter 6. 